joined by winning captain Elise Villani and player of the match, Gabby Lewis from the Sapphires. Elise, first win on the board. Must be feeling good. Yeah, it feels good to get the first one out of the way, that's for sure. So um, hopefully now we've got a bit of momentum and we've got a quick turnaround for, um, until tomorrow's game. So hopefully we can use um, you know the confidence from today and, and carry that on through to tomorrow's game. Yeah, and obviously you're not normally captaining this side, but you've got bragging rights now for if when San Amir returns back in. What would you like to captain this team tonight? Yeah, well, I'm very lucky that I'm playing with um, you know an amazing bunch of people. Um, there's, there's so many great characters and um, they're extremely talented as well. So it was great to, I guess, get the first game out of the way, um, just playing under Sana and then taking the reins today. I felt like I was very well supported out there and um, yeah, the, the, I can't complain. The girls were great. Yeah, and Gabby, player of the match, congratulations on the Apple Watch. We can walk you talkie around the hotel now. Um, started slowly, but you both, you found your rhythm later on. So what was it that just kicked you into that second gear? Um, look, I guess obviously it's, it's, all, it's kind of backing your strengths and kind of I did, I did hit a lot of fielders and kind of once you get a few through, it kind of gives you the confidence to kind of keep going and just, yeah, I guess backing your, your own strengths and not kind of try to be someone else. And, uh, but yeah, obviously having Elise out there was huge support. Um, it's obviously is two versus eleven, so having that, that extra support from your players um, is huge when you're going through kind of a tough time at the start. Yeah, and it sort of worked. You had a really nice balance there. You sort of found that synergy between the two of you. Is that something you've been working on throughout the week? Now you've got to know each other a bit better since you arrived. Um, yeah, I guess obviously knowing knowing someone uh, <coughs> who you're batting with uh, is huge. But I guess kind of what we spoke about was kind of targeting certain bowlers that suit suit us. Obviously, at least my my fancy someone that I don't fancy. So it's kind of just like. Um, Working together in that in tandem, um, but yeah, just kind of backing backing our own strengths. We'll just let Elise get some water there. But um, on the bowling side, how good was Kadali tonight? She's so young, but got such a mature head on those very tall shoulders. Exactly, and it kind of emphasizes how, how good this tournament is. Obviously, having someone like Shabna Bishmel to kind of talk her through that, um, especially in the last game, kind of having her at mid off, kind of learning from her and obviously Ishmael Bo bringing me the last two games as well so I guess for someone like Geats it's, it's unbelievable to be on the same team as Shavin and Ishmael and something that wouldn't really happen um, apart from this tournament so it's brilliant and hopefully for the next few years we can, we can continue on this tournament. Yeah and I think that's something that's working so well you can see that the you know, the more established players, the big names that we do know so well, like Shabnim, are offering their advice. At least, is that something you're doing to the team as well, not just in the captaincy role? I think it's really important that we all share our knowledge. We've all got, um, you know, different strengths that we can share amongst the team. So whether we're, a, you know, someone that, that's more experienced or whether we're quite fresh in our careers, um, I think it's really important that just as a team, we really embrace one another. And there's so much you can learn from one another. So... I'll certainly see it as a role that I, that I need to play within the team, but I think that it's a role that everybody can play at different stages as well. Yeah, and that's the first win on the board, so is that the first of many for the Sapphires now? I hope so. I hope it's the start of something, that's for sure. I think the girls have worked incredibly hard, and I'm incredibly proud of the way that we've all gone about it. So I feel like, you know, we, we've committed to this style of cricket. I think we can be successful when we do that. We know that at times it won't come off, off as individuals. But when we commit to it as a team, we're giving ourselves the best chance of being successful, and I think you saw that tonight. Yeah, and you've got a real energy as a team. We see it, we see it on social media, we can see you in the dugout, and there's just something special, sparkly about the Sapphires. And we mentioned it on commentary earlier, the three Fs, and having that player award, but not for someone who's necessarily put in that, you know, the glittering performance. So is that something that's really key to this side? Absolutely. I mean, we, we have 11 contributors out in the field at any given point in time. Someone like... Um, Moko hasn't batted or bowled yet, but she's been extremely, um, you know, she's been amazing for us in the field. The, the runs that she's, the runs that she's saved for us has been incredible. And you know, to be able to back up the three Fs for us, which is you know, fun, fearless, and freedom. Um, the way that everybody's been able to do that, whether they're contributing with the bat, um, with the ball, or out in the field, and and even the girls that haven't yet had their opportunities, we know that that's just around the corner. But um, the attitude that everybody's had, that's been absolutely amazing, and it's quite contagious. Question for Gabby. She so has. Ages, <laughs> you started off as a team prodigy from mm -hmm. Ireland, but of course, given uh, you know, uh, the limitations of associate countries, what does it feel like to be able to make such an emphatic statement of content through that 62 run knock uh, at the SCB FBI TV? Um, yeah, it obviously means a lot. Um, someone like me from Ireland doesn't really get that many opportunities. Um, so I guess that's kind of the great thing about this tournament. It gives kind of the 
the same as we saw Isha go about, or Isha, or was it Bat? Uh, Isha was Bat, uh, kind of like testing yourselves against Shabna and Ishmael, like playing that shot through cover, you know what I mean? Like that kind of can give people the confidence to go back now and play when they play associates to kind of share that knowledge that they've learnt as well. Um, and yeah, I think it's extremely important to, um, to the value of this tournament. Yeah, so next game is a quick turnaround for you. So you're back on tomorrow afternoon, if I'm right. So is it go back, fuel up, ice bath, heads on pillows, ready to go again tomorrow? Yeah, 100%. Obviously, it's a quick turnaround. Um, but yeah, it's kind of obviously recover as best as we can. Um, and look, obviously going out there, it won't just happen. Like, we're going to have to work um, extra hard as we did today. Um, and that's something that we'll talk about, talk about tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I guess just given that extra 10% because it won't just come easy. Um, but yeah, I have no doubt that we will give our 110% tomorrow and come out with a win. Fabulous. Well, thank you both for joining us. We'll let you go home, get some sleep, and we'll see you in just a few short hours. Um, yeah, fantastic knock from both of you. Great performance. Win for the SAFs and perhaps the first of many. So thank you very much. Up the thank, you, thank you. <laughs> Sorry about the coughing. Sorry. Michael, I've got a one question from the yeah, last sure. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So, so what do I need to do? I can, do I still need this? Oh my god. I can't okay. believe she gave up. Oh, you always. Oh, you always.